this video, we're going to have a look at multiplying 3 by 3 matrices by one another. So first of all, go ahead and try this on your own before we take it up together. Hopefully at this point, you're already comfortable multiplying 2 by 2 matrices with each other. If not, then go ahead and have a look at the video where we multiply 2 by 2 matrices because that's easier slightly than working with the 3 by 3s. Really, working with the 3 by 3s is the exact same concept. There's just a bit more number crunching to do. There's a bit more multiplying out and a few more things to just be careful about because the matrices are bigger. But the process is exactly the same. As a reminder, the order of multiplication matters. So we're going to be multiplying A on the left by B on the right. And what we do to find the entry in position IJ in the product matrix AB is to multiply the entries along the ith row of A times the jth column of B and add them up. For example, if you wanted to know the entry in position 2, 3 in the new matrix, that means you're working with the second row of A times the third column of B. So go ahead, try this out, and we'll take it up together once you're done. So let's go ahead and have a look at the solution. So first, let's write out the multiplication we plan to perform. So we're multiplying the matrix A by the matrix B. In order to do this, remember we're multiplying the ith row of A times the jth column of B to get the entry in position IJ in our new matrix. So for example, to get our first entry, we're going to be working with the first row of A and the first column of B. So what we have then is 3 times 6 plus negative 1 times 0 plus 0 times 3. So that gives us the entry in position 1, 1. Now to get the next entry in position 2, 1, that means second row of A and still the first column of B. So let's just circle that. We've got the second row of A and the first column of B that we're working with. And I'm not going to circle any more past this point because it just gets a little bit too messy. But here, what we've got is 2 times 6 plus 5 times 0 plus 1 times 3. Next, to get entry 3, 1, what we have is third row of A, first column of B, so negative 7 times 6, 1 times 0, and 3 times 3. So next, let's go on to position 1, 2. So first row of A, second column of B. And let me just shift what I've written so far a little bit to the left, just so I have more room to write this. So again, what we have for position 1, 2 is first row of A, second column of B. So what we have then is... And maybe let me actually just put a little square around this, and this will be the last one that I emphasize in any way, because again, it's going to get too messy. But what we're working with is first row of A, second column of B. So what we've just highlighted in green. So what we have is the 3 times the negative 1, the negative 1 times the 1, and the 0 times the negative 8. Next, for entry 2, 2, second row of A, second column of B. So we have 2 times negative 1, 5 times 1, and 1 times negative 8. Lastly, for entry 3, 2, that's the third row of A, second column of B. So we have negative 7 times negative 1, plus 1 times 1, plus 3 times negative 8. So moving on, all we have to do now is figure out the entries in column 3. So first of all, entry 1, 3 means we're working with the first row of A, third column of B. So we're going to get 3 times 0 plus negative 1 times negative 2 plus 0 times 1. Next, for entry 2, 3, we've got the second row of A, so that's the one circled in orange, times the third column of B. So that's the one not circled or highlighted in any way. So what we have is 2 times 0, 5 times negative 2, and 1 times 1. Final entry is entry 3, 3. So now we're working with the third row of A, third column of B. So those are the ones that are not highlighted or circled in any way. So what we've got is negative 7 times 0, 1 times negative 2, 
and 3 times 1. So that's it. We're done the hard part. Everything else just number crunching to get our final answer. And so for entry 1, 1, we've got 3 times 6, so 18, plus 0, plus 0, so that's 18. For entry 2, 1, we've got 2 times 6 is 12, plus 0, plus 3, so that's 15. And for entry 3, 1, we've got negative 7 times 6, which is negative 42, plus 0, plus 9. So negative 42 plus 9 is going to give us negative 33. Now, working down column 2, in entry 1, 2, we've got 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, um, minus 1 plus 0. So we've got minus 3 minus 1, so that's negative 4. In entry 2, 2, we've got negative 2 plus 5 minus 8. So negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3, minus 8 is negative 5. Next, for entry 3, 2, we've got negative 7 times negative 1 is positive 7, 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. So we've got 7 plus 1, which is 8, minus 24. So that's negative 16. Lastly, for the third column, what we have in entry 1, 3 is 3 times 0 is 0, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2, 0 times 1 is 0. So all we've got is 2. In entry 2, 3, we've got 0 minus 10 plus 1. So 0 minus 10 is negative 10 plus 1 gives us negative 9. And for the very last entry, in position 3, 3, we've got negative 7 times 0, which is 0, 1 times negative 2, which is negative 2, and 3 times 1, which is 3. So altogether, we have negative 2 plus 3, which is positive 1. So we arrive at our final answer, 18, negative 4, 2, 15, negative 5, negative 9, negative 33, negative 16, 1. As expected, we get a 3 by 3 matrix, which gives us the product when we multiply A times B. Again, the technique is no different from multiplying 2 by 2 matrices. In fact, whenever you do matrix multiplication, the technique is always the same. To get the entry in position IJ of the product matrix, you simply work with the ith row of A and the jth column of B, multiplying and adding along those.